Support for another round comes from Squarespace. Get your unique domain and create a beautiful website today at squarespace.com. Enter offer code another round at checkout to get 10% off. Make your next move with Squarespace. Put fit first with Third Love. Third Love offers bras in sizes AA through G as well as their exclusive half cup sizes. It just takes 30 seconds to answer a few questions to find the perfect fitting bra for you. Go to thirdlove.com slash another round to try Third Love free for 30 days. That's thirdlove.com slash another round. Hey, y'all. What's up? How you doing? Um, We have a secret. What's the secret? It's not really a secret. We've been talking about it for a while. <laughs> um, We going to Chicago. Hey. It's going to be great. It's going to be June 21st, 8 o'clock p.m. at Talia Hall. We are going to sit down and talk to sociologist extraordinaire Eve Ewing. Yes. We're going to hang out, chit-chat with the one and only Jamila Woods. Yes. Voice of an angel. Oh, and we're yes. hang out with her. And then we're going to have some fun with hip-hop youth crew Kumba Lynx, who's going to dance and celebrate and turn up. And we will clap our hands while they do the actual dancing. Exactly. Because we don't, <laughs> neither of us should be doing what that. the professionals handle this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to Chicago. Y'all got some dope peoples. And y'all also have a great zoo. <laughs> also that I really like <laughs> we'll explore that later yeah after the show let's all go to the zoo <laughs> but first you gotta come to the show for tickets and information go to wbez.org slash events come and see us bring your person yeah. bring us pizza yeah What oh up, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh. <laughs> it's still happening. Yes. <laughs> someone, yes. Someone check on my mother. She's doing a lot. <laughs> oh, Tracy McGee, I'm so excited. Ah. What's up, y'all? You got you gotta you gotta say the thing. Sorry. Hi everyone, I'm Heaven. I'm Tracy. And welcome to another round live at the Bell House. I forgot to say the thing, guys. <laughs> I don't know who you're looking for. You was like, ooh. I don't know. Everyone looks so good. I'm just like, oh, okay. I'm just taking it in. Um, we're really oh, excited ooh. to be here at Pot. You know what? I'm doing the show by myself. <laughs> I'm really happy to be here at Podfest today. I Shout out to Podfest for having us. Yes. Um, also, you can't see this, but there are millions of other people watching via Facebook Live. Millions. Millions. <laughs> millions. Hey, Shout Facebook out to the millions. Live. Also, my mama might be watching. Can y'all say hi to my mama? <laughs> that was beautiful. I know. I know. So as always, we're going to be taping the show for the podcast. Mm -hmm. So keep it cute, you know? <laughs> um... Yeah, you know, a lot of people tend to treat these events as kind of like church services, you know, call and response. <laughs> Calm down. Love it, love it. But if you do too much, our producer, Nina, will cut you out of the podcast. That is a verbatim quote. Like, you can't even be mad. Yo, Nina wrote that joke herself, and she's so proud. <laughs> yes. Yo, so we have a poppin' show today. What we got, Ooh. Trace? Um, well, first off, we are going to learn the art of the thirst with the one Bim at a wound me. Okay. <laughs> it's still our show, though. <laughs> After that, we're going to talk to comedian and writer Nagin Farsad, who is going <laughs> to... Some of you have heard of her, so I don't even have to go on about how dope she is, but we're going to denounce some stuff together as a family. Yes. For the white folks, you're welcome in You advance. will understand <laughs> soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we're going to try something a little new. It's this thing that the French do called intermission. I know, right? I think the actual pronunciation is like, eh, Precisely. But in our language, we call it intermission. Yes. And then we'll be back with a brand spanking new game. Called? Guess a thing. 
by the end of the show, we'll be saying it together as a family. Please practice in Please your heads, Please practice, yes. Just practice in your heads. All right. Uh, so we are going to start off by educating ourselves and you in Thirst Theorem 101. Ooh. Ooh. And to do that, yeah, we are going know. to bring out our friend and coworker and just all around lovely British chap. Is that what they're, <laughs> what you call them exactly. when British? Exactly. Uh, please welcome to the stage, Miss Bim Adewumi. Hey. <laughs> Woo! Hey. <laughs> Fuck it up, Bimford Louise. <laughs> Fuck it up. Y'all, we're not even drunk yet. <laughs> So, Bim, I hear you are a professor of thirst. Y yes. <laughs> okay, okay. So we would like you to walk us through uh -huh. thirst. What is it? Where does one acquire it? What does one do about it? Well, Tracy, I'm glad you asked that question. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> in my several years of study, <laughs> uh -huh. I've come to a series of conclusions. Ooh. Okay. Now, I want the class to get their pens and paper Please out. Please write Everybody this ready? I don't, no, see I, enough, mean, I don't see enough notes and notebooks. Mm -mm. I, I, it's, being, it's being recorded, so I think you we're write. fine. You can refer to these later. Refer um, to your notes later. <laughs> so, first is just like a bunch of lust, fam. Like, it's just noise. Okay, um, okay. I'm into lust. I'm listening. You wrote a whole essay about this, to I be clear. did. In fact, hold on one Ooh. second. Hold on. Pull up to the iPhone, young Drake. <laughs> <laughs> you need to come all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> so I wrote a piece. I wrote a piece in February 2015. Tell the people. Okay. Um, <laughs> it was called, and I'm very proud of this head still, it was called Lusting Out Loud. Women, social media, and desire. Yes. Mm. Mm. yes. Because if you, if you can't put a pseudo-intellectual title listen. on a post, then what is, is the point it? of life? What are you doing? <laughs> Lusting you out did that loud. though. Thank you. you. Did that. I tried. Mm -hmm. I was super proud. I was like, this is why I went to journalism school. Anyway, <laughs> um, essentially, I was talking about the phenomenon um, in recent years mm -hmm. of people expressing desire, like <clears throat> sexual desire. Ooh. Um, mm -hmm. sure. So essentially, it was the idea that more women, mm -hmm. and this is very specifically for women, I'm sure men are allowed to do this too, but it's weird when men do shit. So, yeah. so they make everything weird. The idea, because the world is ruined because men have done stuff, so <laughs> let's just focus <laughs> Write on that women. one down. I mean, she not wrong, she not wrong. I mean, uh, facts are facts. So I used to do this thing years ago on Twitter called Bim's 10 Things. It was the best oh. thing, please bring it back. No, but um, <laughs> I used to do this thing and I would put like um, images of things that had made me smile that week, and every, every week I would put in one very specifically kind of super, for want of a better word, like a very sexy photo or mm. gif of um, a man. And I would, you know, do a caption, mm -hmm. something silly and jokey, but also, I mean, let's be honest. Right. Thirsty. <laughs> yeah. Um, Can you give us a quick example of one such man? So there was one gif that was maybe the most popular gif I ever posted. Mm -hmm. And it was of a young Marlon Brando. Ooh. Did you, did you feel the ripple? <laughs> Six people are pregnant, like, right now. Yeah. That's how potent young Marlon Brando okay. was. I think I'm safe, but I'm right. <laughs> Listen, he's all, like, grease-stained. Yeah. Mm. And, and he's wearing, like, a white, like, a... It's like a vest. Like young-ass tee. Uh, yes. yes! And he's wearing, like, a cap. And his lower lip is, like, sinful. And <laughs> just... <laughs> And the first time I saw that film, I remember sitting up straight, like my posture improved. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, I think I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it was a very instructive afternoon All right. in, in the household. I All was right. like, oh, I think I like boys. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So, so what is the particular power of women lusting out loud or so, thirsting out loud? Okay. So, as I said in the <clears throat> the academic paper in 2015, <laughs> uh -huh. I think that for all of the advances that we have made uh -huh. as women, as a woman, uh, I think that there is still a an expectation that women should be a little bit more demure when mm. it comes to issues of sexuality and desire and saying that explicitly like saying i want that mm -hmm. 
So I think there is a power in some reclamation of the idea that, you know what, it's fine, that I'm still deeply intellectual some days. But also... <laughs> but Every also, Tuesday. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, one of my favourite responses on BIM's 10 Things once, it was, I can't remember who it was, but somebody replied, and you have to say it in an English accent, <laughs> with the amount of, like, innuendo, and she, said, she wrote, I think it was a woman, and she wrote, oh, I'd ruin that. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Who amongst us has not thought such a thought? You know what I mean? Like, I'd ruin it. And I yeah. just think that is disgusting. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bim, I love it. Can I ask you for a few definitions, Professor Bim Adewumi? Sure, I'm happy to help. So, I think... <laughs> Take, continue. So, I, I, I think... <laughs> Please. <laughs> You, you undermine my life's work. <laughs> Sorry. You are absolutely correct. You're right, you right, Professor. So, as I was saying, um, for me, first and lust are kind of like cousins, right? So, okay. lust, I think, is the thing that you feel, right? And thirst is the performance of what you feel. Mm. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not just a pretty face. Okay. Yeah. All right, then. For more oh, thoughts, wow. please buy my book. Lost <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, no. Um, so I think, I think for me, the, the idea of thirst is something that is specifically performative, mm-hmm. that you are saying something um, and you're saying it to elicit a response. Mm. So for me, I find that the things that make me think that's amazing is usually the idea of two things. One, it has to be really fucking explicit. Mm. Like something that you just kind of go, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> But then, you. right, but then the second thought is, yes. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, immediately after. Immediately. Yes. And I think that's the thing. It has to be immediate. You have to be disgust. You have to recoil a little, but chuckling. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Like, right. oh! <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So, you know, you know? You yes, know? Them for Louise. Yes, we do. <laughs> like, you know the laugh that Cardi B does with her tongue out? Yes! <laughs> that, that's... <laughs> that's... that's for me, the, the perfect thirsty tweet every Ooh. time. I put my phone down and I go. <laughs> <laughs> every time. Oh my God! So, um, okay, okay, we 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 have more questions. Not sure. to take your class away from you. Sorry, um, go ahead. So talk to me, okay, yeah. about the art of the thirst follow. Okay. Do you engage? Are there also rules? question? Er, thirst traps. Cool. <laughs> Please define for the class. Okay, so that's a two-part question, and I'll tackle both. Um, so I, 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 I'm going to start with a thirst trap. Okay. So, um, so there was a, there was a, a model on um, Instagram who I followed for, like, longer than is wise. <laughs> and the only reason wise. why was because I found his face so beautiful mm. that to look upon it was like a dove landing on my cheekbone. (laughs) And then gently cooing in my... Coo! (laughs) Coo! Oh my God! Coo! (laughs) Bam! (laughs) For your your, your information, he was called Tony Chung. Uh, He's a New York model. I've unfollowed him now. It's fine. You can... Okay. Okay. Why why did you unfollow? What happened? Because ultimately, he wasn't terribly interesting. He's a model. How interesting could he be? But does he have to be interesting, though? No, he doesn't. But my point... This is... And this is... This follows on to my grand theory of first, which is... Follow whoever the fuck you want. Like, that's, that's your prerogative, mm-hmm. okay? People died for your right to follow anyone on Instagram. Shout out to Harriet Tubman. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Miss Tubman. Thank you. So, follow, follow whoever you want to follow, clearly. But I also think that there will come a time when you're scrolling, maybe around mm, 11.55 p.m. Oh drag me, Bim, drag me. When, <laughs> ain't nothing up that late but the devil. <laughs> and thirst. Ain't nothing open and but thirst. little stores and legs at that hour, girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, this, this is not even who I am. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> this is an out-of-body experience. I, I, mm. So my point is, 
there came a point where I suddenly thought to myself, but why are you following this person? Mm. And it wasn't shame that overcame me, but a feeling quite like it. <laughs> and so I unfollowed him. I sent him into the world. I go out there and be somebody. Um, if you love something, let it go, right? Let it go. Release the dove. So the dove went away. Cool. Just like this dove. Just went away. But I, <laughs> you okay, Heaven? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So she got the spirit, so, 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 so that, <laughs> Just don't even worry about So, so that, is a, that is a thirst follow, where you follow solely for the... Mm -hmm. For the... Yes, yes. Who's that over there? Yes. yes. Oh. That person has experience. Okay. Um, so a thirst <laughs> trap. But a thirst trap is a photo that, you know, I mean, it's not necessarily a photo. It could be anything. I like to think that my more intellectual pieces are a thirst trap of a sort. <laughs> Um, she's so cute. I mean, I'll allow it. I'll so allow I don't know if you read any of my election coverage, but whew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, got I got, up, I got listen, I got so many DMs. Mm. Like, oh my God, tell me more about the DNC. And I was like, happy to. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay. um, but I'm saying that there are, there are, basically a thirst follow is, you know, like I, I just want to enjoy this thing okay. as is. Um, so do that if you must. And that's what basically a thirst trap is. Someone who, when someone puts a photo up, usually a photo, mm -hmm. and you know, you know, it's usually the kind of thing where they're showing off something, but they have like the most needless caption, like something like, uh, thank God for blessings. And I'm like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you had to take your shirt off to praise God yeah, one time. Y'all yeah. mind if I praise God <laughs> one time? My favorite, my favorite thirst trap photos are the ones where women are looking back at it and they're like, mm. and then they say stuff like, God never gives you things you can't handle. Me, me, <laughs> me. I do that, I do that. But, but check me out though, see, because I like to think I'm a little slick, right? So I'll be like, just got a new uh, hairdo today. How you like it? <laughs> I don't want you to look at my hair. Yeah. We've all I done it. Want. One time I put up a photo, I just got, um, I'd done something to my hair, but also, my abs looked fantastic. Ooh. Okay. Flex so one time so I took a photo and I was like, new hair. But in reality, mm -mm. <laughs> I just wanted you to kind of be like, I would like for you to observe the difference between mm. uh, last month and this mm. month. Listen. Mm. Because I've done 17 sit-ups and, and I can see it. <laughs> and you 17. will respect me. 17. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm very pro thirst trap. I feel like women get a bad rap for thirst trapping. Oh, bars, bars. Uh, bad I have, rap for the thirst trap. Uh. <laughs> I see you, Yeah, sis. yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, I say all that to say, everybody, when you go home, look back at it and thank God for some blessings on Instagram. <laughs> um, I could talk to you about thirst all day. And I could listen to you talk to me about that. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh I love you, Tracy. I love that, you, that Heaven. Not right here, girl. Right. Not right here because Sorry. of my eyeliner. <laughs> so, remember a while back where you were a guest on our show and we played a very... Difficult, difficult version. Round. Difficult's a nicer word. Difficult round of Mary fuck Maine because he didn't want to kill anybody. Correct. But they were all with the so Republican we for candidates. <laughs> if I, I if I knew then what I know now. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you came back on the show, honestly. <laughs> but so, we wanted to play again with you. Yeah, and we want to apologize bit. for the last yeah. time. That's fine. And we are going to play a round, a couple of rounds of fuck Mary or subscribe to his newsletter because we don't want to kill him. <laughs> Fuck, marry, or subscribe to his newsletter. Yes, and so this will consist of all of your favorite thirst receptacles. Objects. Right. Objects. Receptacles. Yes. Receptacle is... I know. What do you think thirsting is, fam? It's my show. I'll call it what I want. All right. Okay. All right. Then for the round Louise. one. You ready? Yes. Go round ahead. one. I'm ready. We have Andrew Lincoln. That's Aww. that's the that's, that's Rick the homeboy Fry. from <laughs> from The Walking Dead. The, Put it away. The main guy from Walking Dead. Yes. yes. We have Mahershala Ali, the man who, <laughs> as you all know, he is the man that invented the color yellow. Yep. Yep. And then we also have John Cho. The star of every rom-com in my mind. Fuck Mary, subscribe to his newsletter. Who you fucking, Bim? <laughs> Who you fucking? <laughs> There's a really crude answer to that that I'm not going to say Ooh. because my mother listens to this. Oh, hi, mama. Um, oh, this is distressing. Uh, okay, so who would I fuck? That was kind of sultry with the accent and shit. It's not my first time. Um, so 
I think, I think I would marry, oh fuck, I would marry Mahashala Ali. Yeah. I'm gonna clap for that. Thank you, thank you. That's yes. the, the rightest answer. That's yeah. decision making 101. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let, me, let me tell you real quick why. Because okay. um, I don't know if you know this. Um, I don't even know if I know this, but I'm actually Muslim. What? Okay, yeah. all right, girl, talk about it. Yeah, talk so I feel like, just imagine <laughs> your daughter, mm. a Muslim woman, bringing home Mahashala. Mashala! Hey. <laughs> yes! In the back! Hello, so sister. Bad, Hello, Hello sister. Hello, sister. <laughs> yes. So this award-winning, handsome as fuck. Inventor of yellow. Inventor of yellow. Just yes. Skin, Muslim just... man. I mean, <laughs> like, my mother would just look at me and be like, you know what? Fuck every mistake you ever made in your life. Like, <laughs> you're forgiven. Okay. Okay. So, okay. All right. So that's, so that's who, who I marry. Um, right. I don't know if any of you watch The Walking Dead. So you know who Rick is. But so Daryl is so much finer. Go ahead, though. I'm, I'm really, I'm so sorry about this, but if you knew how much I have been obsessed with Rick Grimes, you'd understand why he's the one I have to fuck. Right. Like, I, okay, I get okay. it. I get it. I seriously watch the show. So you're going to subscribe uh, to John Joe's newsletter? Oh, man, yes, I suppose. What do you think? No, he puts wait, in wait, wait. No, I made a mistake. Oh, oh, I'm going oh, I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna, to, no, I'm going to oh. fuck John Cho. Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. I blacked out. No. Um, <laughs> that's, no. that's who. And then I'm going to subscribe to to beautiful Andrew Lincoln's newsletter. Yeah. yeah. He'll be funny. He's a very funny man. So well, that will make go. me laugh. Yeah. You get good content He'll in have one of your yeah. inboxes. Right. <laughs> like, You should be ashamed of yourself. Nope. <laughs> I fucking hate how much I enjoyed that. <laughs> God I'm damn gonna, it. I'm, I'm going right. to walk away. I'm One sorry, last I'm round, gonna... Binford Louise. Okay, go ahead. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm ready. All right. You got your man's Chris Evans, mm -hmm. a.k.a. Captain America. You got your man. You look so stressed out already. So, I'm so stressed. Roderick Hunter, <laughs> a.k.a. Brown Instagram star of uh, all of our dreams. Yes. And the character Finn Palmar from The Good Wife. Not Matthew Good, the actor. The Not character Finn Palmar. Actor. Every good wife bitch in the building know what I'm talking about. So <clears throat> I'm, glad, I'm glad you brought up Finn because <laughs> I wrote a post that was called Things That Would Happen If Finn Palmar Was Your Boyfriend. Ooh. Oh. So I'm in deep. <laughs> no, 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 that was cheap. I apologize. No, um, I didn't have to do that. I'm sorry. Um, I did, though, say, yes, you I? Did. You I did. did. I did. I did have to do that. Uh, who was it? Chris Evans. Mm -hmm. oh, I really respect him as a human being, but also, and I hear he's down with the swirl. I mean, I, I believe it. <laughs> Do you, Reports do you remember, say. Did you see? Did you see when David Duke posted those photos of Chris Evans photos with like various black actresses or black Ooh, women? Ooh, he was salty. He was mad. You mad? No, Ooh, yeah, he man. was. He was like, oh, you know, Chris doesn't blah blah blah. And then Chris responded and said something along the lines of, "I'm very proud of taking photos with all these women. Fuck you, David." <laughs> Duke. Yeah. But then I read this amazing Tumblr comment where someone said, "Oh my God, for the first time, me and a Grand Wizard of the KKK have the same search history." Mm. <laughs> 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 Tumblr is so good. I chuckled. <laughs> I was like, same. Yeah. Me My too. tribe. I have yeah. found you. It's actually, okay. So, no, okay. So, um, I respect Chris Evans as a human being. I think okay. he's a marvelous person. Um, and that's why I have to fuck him. And then okay. <laughs> I would, and then I would marry, who were the other two? Roderick Hunter <laughs> or oh. the character Finn Palmar. I would marry Broderick Hunter. Another reason, I'll give you a quick reason. Mm -hmm. Because... He, I think, says something like he has Nigerian heritage. So oh. again, that, you know, what, I just, what, what, I just, is, what option are you left with? <laughs> Precisely, like yeah. I would just call him Adewale or something, and then we'll get married. <laughs> it's not a thing. So I'd marry him, and then annoyingly, because mm. these options are terrible, I'd have yes. to subscribe to Finn Palmer's <laughs> newsletter. But I could learn some really good stuff about the law. So I feel like there that's you go. okay. Yeah. That was not easy, Ben for Louise. But you know you what? Did it. I'm gonna go backstage and I'm gonna just drink. So okay. I'm just I'm <laughs> so happy. I'm you can, unhappy even. You can well, put no. all of your drinks on Heaven's tab. She got you. Lovely. I got yeah. you. Thank you, Heaven. Oh shit, you do? Hey, life Give likes, me a you, drink know too. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's uh, on BuzzFeed. Hey. <laughs> 
them you are a delight. Please tell the people where they can find you and your work on the internet. All your thirst theories and perhaps even a newsletter that you might have. Oh, have yeah. you a newsletter yourself? Yes, I do have a newsletter. Thank you so much for asking. You don't say. So um, you can find my work on buzzfeed.com, the website. Um, you can find me on Twitter, but you shouldn't because it's just a lot of noise. And my newsletter, Good my newsletter is called the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> and I write it very, very sporadically. But love every, it. But every it. time it arrives in your inbox, you're going to smile. You before sure you, are. Just before you unsubscribe. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I feel like you should give me a chance. Give Thank her a chance. Thank you so much. Yay. Thank you so much. Support for another round comes from Squarespace. With Squarespace, you get a unique domain experience that's simple to set up and an all-in-one platform to help you create a beautiful, modern website that's nothing like those old dial-up websites. You remember that sound? To help quiz me on some other old-school computer sounds, we have with us in the control booth, Tyler Sorensen from BuzzFeed's creative department. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Tracy. What you got? Here it is. Oh, snap. Yes, it's the floppy disk yes. being read. Yep. Oh my god. That's the floppy disk. I have not thought about floppy disks in 35 years. <laughs> 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 I still have a whole bunch from like uh, my language arts classes and stuff. Mm -hmm. So like I have a whole bunch of old papers and stuff on it. You got to get those off of there. <laughs> Just going to put it in a time capsule and forget it exists. <laughs> <laughs> get your unique domain today at squarespace.com. If you sign up for a year, the domain is free, and you can also save 10% off your first purchase with the offer code Another Round, as in the name of the show that you're listening to right now. Make your next move with Squarespace. When it comes to bra shopping, it's all about finding the right fit for you. And speaking of the right fit, you know how you always hear that statistic that says something like 60 or 70 or 80 percent of the women on earth, like all women on earth who wear bras are wearing the wrong size bra. It's crazy, right? So when I heard about Third Love, a company that says it can find you the best fitting bra in like five minutes without you even trying it on, I was like, OK, this is impossible. But guess what? I can actually say that I have tried Third Love and the bra that they sent me actually fit me really really well and I was so surprised Third Love uses thousands of real women's measurements and super smoothing memory foam to create bras that fit better and feel great and they're available in sizes AA through G and they even have exclusive half cup sizes you can try a Third Love bra free for 30 days and if it's not your new favorite bra returns and exchanges are free Go to thirdlove.com slash another round now to find your perfect fit and again try it free for 30 days that's thirdlove.com slash another round. So next we are thrilled to welcome our next guest. Her name is Nagin Farsad. She is a yes. Give it up. Give it up. She's a writer, comedian. She wrote a book called How to Make White People Laugh, which is like a fucking nuclear science type shit. She's made movies. She does literally everything somehow. Please welcome Nagin. Welcome! Woo what up, what up? You're so cute, I, I love know. your glasses. Oh, you look great. Thank you. I see you. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. I'm 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 hot and bothered from the last segment. Ooh. So oh. aren't Can we, we all? dim the lights? Aren't we all? <laughs> Gentlemen be warned. <laughs> <laughs> I hear yes. there's an after party, so Damn. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, so you have done comedy in a lot of difficult places, I would say. Yeah. Red states to be to be specific. Exact. Yeah. Yes. Like, what is it like doing comedy in these kinds of places where I feel like they don't even know what, like what a brown person is? Also, it's not just like comedy that you do. Like going to like a a comedy club in like Southwestern, wherever the fuck is one thing. But you have done. <laughs> things like you go to these places and you hold up signs that say hug a Muslim and you let people hug you I assume yeah. which is crazy <laughs> 
stuff called activism. Like you're, you're well, highlighting the things that make you different. I mean, I get different reactions from different places. I, you know, I was in um, like the weird backwoods of Washington State. No, nope. um, yeah. <laughs> I believe that's where Get Out was set. <laughs> I believe so. No, it's like essentially, you know, where they film Twilight. So I was sure. like, either, Even better. Same um, <laughs> you know, I was like, either I'm going to encounter some really lovely people, some racist or some, you know, shapeshifters. Um, so that, <laughs> but, uh, and I, you know, I, I remember they, that this one show, they protested my just being there to do comedy, oh which I thought was such a waste How of a protest. protest? They were out there with signs and stuff like that. I Holy think they shit. thought I was going to convert people to Islam, which is hilarious. <laughs> um, I mean, I am like a Muslim or whatever. I'm an Iranian American Muslim. I'm like the product of like a bag of, you know, eyebrows, had sex with a bag of beards. <laughs> that's what I am. And then you add some saffron, and like that's my heritage. Um, but uh, I feel that heavy, yo. <laughs> I feel that. Yes. Um, so, what, like, they thought that you were going to convert the yeah, entire they was, audience? Yeah, they thought I was just going to start converting, uh, like, the the vampires of Washington State or whatever <laughs> to Islam. Um, and it was raining outside because, obviously, right, it's in Washington. And I was like, you guys want to come in? Like, you know, you might enjoy it. Like, I totally, you know, your your protest is duly noted for the record. <laughs> also, it's um, fucking raining. Get out of the rain. Wow. Yeah. And, then, and, they were, and they were like, oh, well, well wait in the lobby you know and so <laughs> they waited in the lobby oh, my for my entire show to finish and then they went back outside and continued protesting as the wow. audience was leaving wow. um anyways but so those kinds of things happen i mean you know i i stood in front of the uh temple um in salt lake city the mormon big mormon temple and this was for the movie the muslims are coming and we stood there um, which was we were trying to convert people with that movie. Just, so you're clear. <laughs> Just by watching it, you become a muzz. It's over. But, um, it's a we were standing there in front of this temple in Salt Lake City, and people were just holding these signs that said "Hug a Muslim." And like, if you've like never, you know, stood in front of a temple in uh, Salt Lake with Mormons hugging you, like you haven't stood. Uh, it was <laughs> like these were the most breathtaking hugs I have ever received. It was like, Aww. you know, the entire weight of like Joseph Smith in every hug. <laughs> it, it was. I mean, it was so beautiful. Um, but it was just like two, two <laughs> maligned religions hugging each other, you know what I mean? Aww. And so um, it was really lovely. And so, you, you know, it depends on where you go. So you also, <laughs> that's incredible, one. You also successfully sued the MTA. Yeah. And for those who are listening and So everyone in New York is clapping. Yes. That's because the MTA is the transportation. That's the New York City subway, system. quote unquote, <laughs> as they call it. Alleged so, system. So you sued the subways and you won. What yeah. What happened there? What well, the hell? I mean, so we were trying to put up funny posters about Muslims um, because, like, an anti-Muslim hate group had been putting up really crappy ones about um, Muslim and what against was, Muslims. What were their they were just like Muslims are trying to kill you, like whatever that kind of thing, and like sure, sure. And they were, and they were just McDonald's like, protest them. <laughs> and they were like really uh, ugly posters or whatever because bigots have no sense of uh, graphic design. <laughs> and with everything in Comic Sans, <laughs> I can't even take this seriously. Come on now, get your farms together. So, so we, we wanted to put up our own posters that also, um, you know, promoted our film and blah, blah, blah. So uh, we worked with the MTA for over five months and they had so many roles like, you know, we could, you know, with the font and the color and the placement and the blah. And like you couldn't wor use certain words, like you couldn't use the word poop and penis that cut out like half of our material. <laughs> and so well, we worked with them every step of the way. And then um, and then finally, uh, you know, they approved the posters. The posters were supposed to go up and then two days after they were supposed to go up the MTA called me and said we're banning the posters and they cited that they were too political okay wow. so can you please give the people a taste of what was 
too yeah. political? So, like, one of the posters, for example, it said, um, you know, uh, Muslims, um, you know, invented the concept of a hospital. Okay. It was, like, facts about Muslims, right? So, so Muslims invented the ha- ha- Yeah, so political. Um, and then it said, like, <laughs> Muslims, <laughs> Muslim, uh, grown-up Muslims can do more push-ups than baby Muslims. That's another one. Um, facts. Is, is that true? Facts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I Google it. Let me know. I I don't know. I don't know. It's getting a little political, (laughs) y'all. The babies and the Um, and then and this was this one was probably the most political. Um, it was it said uh, Muslims invented Justin Timberlake, and so it was just like (laughs) that was the one that did. That's the one that was we crossed a line there. I felt it in my pants. Justin for yourself. Um, And. Uh, and then, uh, for example, another poster said, uh, the ugly truth about Muslims, they have great frittata recipes. <laughs> and so, um, you know, and, and uh, you know, the frittatas are really sensitive in our culture. And right, so, right, right, right. Um, but we, so that's what, uh, that's why we had to sue uh, the MTA, which is like a major state agency. And I don't know if you guys have ever sued a state agency before. I have not. That's oh, not this week. Not, it's not like, this um, week. it was like a year and a half long pap smear. It was a really oh. enjoyable experience. Um, so that's what that Damn. was. But we won. So, you know, it was yeah. like a great pap smear. That is amazing. Also, I describe a lot of my old relationships that way. <laughs> but like in the bad way, though. Um, that's amazing. Congratulations you. to you. I know. Um, so we're going to play a quick game. Okay. Super quick game. So you had a column on Medium called The Daily Denouncer. Walk us quickly through what that column was and what you did. Yeah, well, because where everywhere I go, people always ask me, why don't Muslims denounce terrorism? Um, and so, I, you know, and I got this question yeah, why so don't they? everywhere. <laughs> yeah, why don't we? Um, <laughs> and so, we, it, and it just was such a frustrating question that I got all the time, all the time. And so I, I put up this, um, you know, this dailydenouncer.com. And it was, you know, basically the idea is that it's a website that denounces terrorism every day of the week. But... Um, <laughs> But takes the weekends off, and then um, <laughs> like a bitch gotta get her weekends. And they're like these single panel cartoons with different ways of denouncing terrorism because it's like you know the idea is that it where it's um, mocking you know it's it's denouncing terrorism while also recognizing that it's ridiculous that Muslims have to constantly mm-hmm. denounce terrorism. Mm-hmm. Well, this gave us a lot to think about. Yes, because guess who doesn't denounce shit when they people fuck up? Any guesses? That's right. That's right. White people. White people. <laughs> so in this fun little game, we are going to get the ball rolling for y'all white people. We are going to start we denouncing white you. shit on your behalf. <laughs> that you y'all should really speak out of our, you know? Yeah. You're welcome in advance. I would love to kick this off. Um, Talk to people, the people, Tracy. What should they denounce? Y'all need to denounce serial killing because... <laughs> Y'all, like, okay, okay, okay. And to be fair, I'm not saying that all white people are serial killers. <laughs> Hashtag not all white people. I get it. Who said we are? Get out. <laughs> Don't do that in here and not today. I got plans tomorrow. Can't die today. Um, but, I mean, like, sometimes I just think about, like, everybody's all upset about black-on-black crime, which does not exist, first of all. And, like... Can you imagine if a brown person had been the one to to do the shit in Waco? If you're a child, you don't remember this. But like when David Koresh literally had a shootout with the police in the name of God, if that was a brown person, everybody would have had to stand and be like, I don't approve of what that nigga did, right? I don't know this man. But uh, he's not even she? my cousin. I don't know her. <laughs> but literally, y'all. One of your cousins, one of y'all people. One of y'all. Was kidnapping motherfuckers, killing them, and eating them. Shout out to Jeffrey Dahmer. Who amongst y'all stood up and said, hey, man. I don't know about Jeff. You know, Bob from account was never Jeff like, all crazy. Oh, no. oh, no. So you can start there if you want. There's a lot of them to denounce. Just, just a thought. Okay. 
Okay. Nagin, have you anything that white people should denounce? Oh, yeah. I think that um, white people should be denouncing luxury cruises. Okay. <laughs> Talk to us. Talk to us. I Wait, mean, what? Talk to us it's about the luxury like, cruise. There's so many things wrong. I mean, they're like an environmental atrocity, whatever. <laughs> so, like, that's like a real good reason. Um, but it, everything about them is tacky. Like, the food is frozen. If anyone thinks they're getting, like, a good, delightful gourmet experience or whatever, <laughs> Or they're real. It's not like you mean there's they don't have to own fish on the boat. No, like no, and there's no like cows grazing on the Lido deck. You know what I mean? The whole thing is this game. And then it's like you would never like. I mean, and the, the other thing that annoys me is that like white people go, will go, go and watch a a fucking magician or something, right? <laughs> on a cruise, right? But Yo, then you're like go. Stay employed on cruises. No, I mean yeah, and comedians. I mean it's um, my own kind and. I, but then you, you ask them, like, why don't you go to a theater when you're in your own town and, like, support the arts? They're like, no. You know what I mean? So I need it's to just do this the, on a boat. But also, it's just the whole thing is tacky. It also makes me seasick. And no <laughs> amount of drama mean hell. Anyway. Yeah. I, there's I hear been you. some vomit in my life. The luxury cruise has Write got that to one go. down, white people. <laughs> Serial killers, luxury cruises. <laughs> Same class. Okay, I Tell have a what thought. You got. I okay. have a thought. Okay. Remember the 2008 financial crisis? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? I believe I do Remember recall. Remember the global financial crisis because y'all could not be trusted? Yeah, I, I do remember that, actually. Uh, no one was like, do not trust that white man with your mortgage afterwards. <laughs> Despite the fact, statistically, you should not trust that white man with your mortgage. Right. <sighs> but I how many of y'all's homies was like, hey... I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck no, with that. And anyone who knows the word derivatives, right. you're out. <laughs> yeah. What is I that? just think all white people should denounce money and give it to us. Yeah. Hard agree. <laughs> Reparations and whatnot. If you will. If you will. I would love to. <laughs> Reparations sometime soon. Write that down as well. Um, okay, I got one more. I got one more. Um, so this is, this is not a very inventive thing. It's just something that I'm very passionate about. I'm listening. <sighs> Let's talk about seasoning. There's that, that old but so true internet joke about white people literally conquering the world to get spices and then you get them and y'all don't even use them. Not one goddamn spice! Not one! Do you know how much food you are wasting? Do you know how good food can be? Do you care? Do you like... Don't you want better for anybody on this earth? everyone involved. Put some fucking lorries on that shit. (laughs) Don't just, you don't get a piece of chicken and just put it on a grill and be like, eh, eh, pregame, uh, cook out. No. Tailgate. Tailgate. (laughs) This is not, this is not tailgating. This is terrorism against actual food. (laughs) And you need to cut it the fuck out. (laughs) Stop it. Also write that one down. Okay. McGee. Okay, well, I'll, I'll do like a little, like a slightly serious one, which is I want to denounce the usage of the term alt-right. We have to Ooh. all stop Talk to it. us. Talk to us. Because it's just, they're white supremacists. Why are all we giving right. them a pass? Yeah. 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 It's so frustrating. It's not like an indie band. It's literally... <laughs> A bunch of shitty racists. Why are we legitimizing? It drives me nuts. Okay. So fair, just fair. let's stop with denounce the usage of the term. It really does sound like a terrible genre of music. <laughs> <laughs> and now on the all right hour, we've got Joseph and the tortoises. Talk about white supremacy. <laughs> okay. One last one. One last one. Okay. One last one. I would like every white person in this room. Hi. Hey. We see y'all. I appreciate you being here. You could be anywhere else in the world right now. I appreciate that. What is about to happen? <laughs> so recently I've been thinking a lot about bleached assholes. <laughs> who? Who was the first to be like, you know what? I have a question. You got assholes too brown. What time? I'm, I don't mean to. <laughs> Gotta be whiter. I, I see you in the pulpit. I know you. So you was just hanging out casually thinking about bleached assholes? 
just as one what should I have does. to eat today? <laughs> Wonder if I should get a dog. Why people bleach their asshole? <laughs> How's Tracy? Doing? Literally me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Continue. So I just I, I I want every white person in here to say with me, I denounce white assholes. Everybody. <laughs> I denounce white assholes. Your asshole is brown. And it's supposed to be brown. It makes Your sense. Your shit is brown. Yes. Everything in there is brown. <laughs> Fucking appreciate the brown, goddammit. Goddammit. Right. I denounce right. white assholes. <laughs> Fed up. The daily denouncer. I feel like we should talk out of this segment very quickly. <laughs> I'm fed up. Nikki and I apologize if this is where we ended. <laughs> no, but I like to end all of my conversations about bleached assholes. Yes. So I feel very comfortable. Yes, yes. So you're going to come back a little bit later to have some more fun with this. But yes. before you head out, tell the people where they can find you and oh, your yeah. work and what I, you're up to. So I think, well, one of the, the immediate things you should do, like right this moment, is just Ooh. subscribe to my podcast, Fake the Nation. Oh my God, a podcast um, within the podcast. It's, just, it's me. Yeah, what? podcast, yeah. podcast, podcast. I uh, I have um I I have it's a it's a me and a rotating cast of uh, comedians and we talk smack about politics every week and it's really fun yes. and it's called Fake the Nation and then you should buy my book How to Make White People Laugh because if you enjoy stories about bleached assholes <laughs> you'll love <laughs> How to Make White People <laughs> Laugh um and then uh and then you can find me on Twitter and all that stuff. What's your Twitter handle? It's Nagin Farsad, a name that is both easy to spell and pronounce. So. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yes. If you need help, there you go. Yes. Everybody, Nagin Farsad. Oh, my God. Thank you. Heaven, how you doing? Did you? Oh, my God. Have you cooled off? Okay. I feel like, I feel like young Heaven might need a minute. Mm -hmm. So we are going to do that French thing we were talking about. The intermission. That was intermission mm -hmm. and not French. So we're gonna we're gonna try this intermission thing out. It's the first time we've done it. Listen, don't go outside and like fight with right. your daddy. Right, like be near. Because you're gonna get back and the show's gonna be over. You're gonna be mad. It's don't get crazy. <laughs>
Nevertheless, she persisted. I will not. <laughs> Medium skinned. <laughs> you thought. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? <laughs> Sheether. Hey. Hit me on the buzz. Hit me on the buzz. Hey. And do rag spelled like they spelled it in the New Yorker. <laughs> Not that anyone's keeping score. So if you can't see, it's D O, D -O dash, dash rag. Sacrilegious. <laughs> Get out of here. In quotation marks. All right, all right. This the is going to be a fun game, y'all. <laughs> so here's how it's going to work. I'm going to give y'all a category uh -huh. such as this. There will be a few things you have to guess in the category. One person's going to guess. One person's going to give the clues. It's mm -hmm. going to be pretty simple. Let me give you an example. So let's say you had something like uh, Salty Bay's. Salad category. Not salt bay, salty bays. Okay. This is a category in which we are salty because our bay has a different bay. Mm. So maybe if Tracy had this category, you'd be describing things that would make her guess Serena Williams and that fucking Reddit guy <laughs> who she is married to, <laughs> engaged to, because some of us are salty about our bay. What the hell? That is one example. Okay. This, okay. All right. This already feels needlessly complex. <laughs> It is. I would not I say that at all. I out, would not say that at all. I just want to point out that I'm the only one on stage who's been drinking all night. So if I don't <laughs> win, it's because of the liquor. I wasn't looking for You can for also cheer. lose because your teammate is terrible. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, listen. You got to get your head in all the right, game. All right, all right. Y'all, settle down. Winner. Settle down. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm very competitive. We're okay. I'm, all right. We're I think okay. I understand the game. You're going to be guessing first. Okay. Oh, okay. Which category will you choose? I'll take you thought. Ooh. All right, so you thought is when you thought, <coughs> but you thought wrong. One I'm minute so on the clock, please. <coughs> Bim, you ready to describe these things? Oh, fuck. Sure. We got one minute on the clock? Oh, God. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Bimford Louise, your time starts now. We're going to win. We're going to okay, win. Okay, so win. this thing, um, they burnt Michael Jackson's hair back in the day. and uh, just Pepsi? Yes. Um, uh, he's a bad man with a splotchy complexion. He works in the White House, not that guy. His second... Trump? No, no, no. No, the other Bannon? person. Bannon? Correct. Uh, yeah. Yes, him. Darth this Vader? guy has a stylish fucking haircut, but he's also a fucking white supremacist. Oh, shut up, man. I don't want to know his name. Face. Do I even have to he say got, his name? I know his face. his face. Audience, I'm going to ask you to kindly make sure to Richard not Spencer. tell him the answers. <laughs> who, who, sorry, sorry, I missed that. What was that, Ahmed? He said Rich, uh, Richard Spencer? Correct, yes, correct. The guy who got punched um, in the face? This lady has thought, a delectable thought. ass. Um, she's a rapper. Um, uh, Nicki Minaj? Correct. <laughs> um, she did thought. You she did are thought. not a Republican, but they are, in fact... Democrats? Yeah. Mm, okay. Oh, oh you got it. You got all of them. I did my auntie proud. In case I would that, just like in case y'all missed that, let's just go over a few people who thought <laughs> Pepsi, Steve Bannon, who is now out of the National Security Council. You thought. You thought. Nicki Minaj also thought. But she did, though. And she then, did. obviously, the Democrats thought. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they really thought. This is topical comedy. I did not make this up. <laughs> Nagin. I'm drunk and belligerent. Let's go. Fair. Fair. Nagin, do you have a category right, in mind? We got this. Okay. Category in mind? Oh, nevertheless, she persisted. Ooh. Okay, okay. So, these are people who went... People or things. People and or... What, what is the noun? Person, place, or thing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shocking. No People, places, behind. or things that persisted despite it all. Okay, okay. What okay. is in this category? We got this. We got this. Um, okay. Yeah. One minute on the <laughs> Wait. One minute on the clock. Okay. And go. Uh, so she's got like big tits. She's in that, that movie um, Ghost in the Shell. Fuck. Uh, Scarlett uh, Johansson. Yeah. Um, she. Wait. What is what that? Is that? What the fuck what are you doing? Okay, uh, 
Thank you. Okay. Girl Johansson Johansson is right. So she, Let's not guess would, the answers. She um, it, uh, is not a black person, but okay. she thought she was a black Rachel person. Rachel Dolezal. She uh, persisted. She uh, persisted. persisted. Uh, she is the daughter of our president and has an office Ivanka. in the West Wing. Trump. Nevertheless, um, she persisted. She has an office in the West Wing, but she was on Celebrity Apprentice, Ivana? and it's so inappropriate. Pro- what? Who the no. fuck? Which is daughter she, of the president? She was like, no, no, no. You got that one. Oh, this is a new one. Yeah, this is a new oh, one. shit. Okay. She's also in the West Wing. She was on Celebrity Apprentice, and she oh, was... Oh, fucking, fucking Omarosa. Yeah. Um, a social media thing where you're trying to, like, network with other people, and you... Twitter. No. Uh, where, but for work, though. LinkedIn. For, yeah, but um, you have so many... Um, like uh, contacts, followers, <laughs> friends. But you're like, oh, I, seconds. You, connection. Um, when they ask you, can I um, be your link? Fun. God damn it. Where it's Ooh. like you're. Can we connect? Like, can a, we like, connect a, like a party. You and invite. Mm-hmm. invite? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but I feel like she got that one. I got that one. Did you? I got it. You got it. Did you? Did you? Everyone. Everyone. Where, where's the but scoreboard? But did you, though? I got it. Is but everyone did you? done? Is everyone done? <laughs> to be clear, nevertheless, she persisted. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson, Rachel Dolezal, like, oh, Ivanka Trump, Omarosa, and all those LinkedIn invites. <laughs> nevertheless, I did, she got persisted. It. Tracy, I'm not counting real points in this game. <laughs> You might have oh. told me that before. You got I this. I challenged them to you a duel. You got this. You might have said that. So I'm going to list some things in the category, and you'll oh, have no. to guess the name of the category oh, this time. Fuck. Such oh. that I will list things, y'all will name things, the audience will decide by popular vote, oh, no. which is most appropriate. <laughs> For example, if I said something like Pepsi, Kendall Jenner, etc., you might guess trash. <laughs> Like this audience member did. Or perhaps stay in your lane. <laughs> Etc. Y'all get the idea? Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna list some things. Y'all ready? <laughs> okay, let's go. Alright. Title. Sorry, what now? Title. With a D? I don't understand American accent. Title. <laughs> that shit Jay Z's pushing. Okay. <laughs> Peeps, as in the Easter candy. Fuck. I'm not from this country. Ben, when has that ever stopped you? (laughs) Pineapple pizza. (laughs) And George W. Bush's art book that they're selling us. (laughs) So you must describe the category upon which all of these things have something in common. I got it. I already know the answer. Y'all listening? Y'all listening? Y'all heard that? Okay. Oh, I see people around. mm, mm. To wait till the game is done. done, I'm done. I'm done. Look. Pencils down, I'm finished. You good, Bim? Sure. All right. We have things that might be mythical. <laughs> Title, Peeps, Pineapple Pizza, and that George W. Bush art book. We wish. We also have things nobody fucking wants or asks for. Yeah. 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 I think Tracy McGee won that round. I agree. Hey, I would. I would have. Up. I would have also accepted. They steady trying it. Everyone's a winner. Yay! You all. This has been such a joy. Thank you all so much for playing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh my gosh, are those new drinks? Baby, come through. Perfect. Um, All right, Tracy, who you buying around for? Ooh, okay, so I'm buying around for. You know how we say drink some water, take your man's call your person? Mm hmm. Um, so I. I have not always had a person in my life. 
Um, one of my biggest, like when I was in a relationship back in 1975, mm-hmm. uh, one of my biggest worries was like, if I get married, who's going to be in my bridal party? Because I had nobody to like, Aww. I was like, oh shit, we're going to have to elope because I don't have any fucking friends, you know? But things have evolved in my life. I have people, me and my people are right here in the front row. Aww. Hey girl. What up on the top? Um, so I, my life and my situation has evolved to a point where if I do ever get married, I've got people to ask me my bridesmaid. So I have, I have people that I can call, but I am also someone else's person. Um, possibly a couple people's persons. Yeah. But the main person who I am the person for is my mother. Mm. And she made me realize inadvertently that I was being a shitty person Mm. because I was so stressed out with work, so stressed out with dumb shit because I have anxiety (laughs) disorder. And I get in these moves where I get in these moves where like I just I just cannot period. I just can't anything. You know? And so like my phone rings, I can't answer it. I get an email, I can't respond. I get a DM. If anybody's waiting on DM for me, I'm so sorry. (laughs) Um but she had been calling, calling, calling. I was just like, ugh, I can't. I've got to, <laughs> I got to turn in a chapter of my whatever the fuck. But um, this one day I finally answered and it was a FaceTime call. I'm talking to my mother and the whole time I'm like, yeah, hey, I'm trying to get this uh, video to play, blah, 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 blah. And she gets kind of quiet. She's like, okay. And I'm like, wait, what's wrong? What's wrong? And there was just this look in her face. And I was just like, I fucked up. I really, really fucked up. And I was talking to her and I was like, you know what, I I apologize. I was like, I'm so sorry. I've been like really, really stressed out. And you know what she said? She was like, I understand. Mm. And for me, like in that moment, like I needed to be careful because I felt like a piece of shit. I was like, my mother is 700 miles away and she needs me and I've been too stressed out to answer the phone. So this sent me to thinking about like, how you take care of yourself when you're somebody that somebody else depends on. And that's just not easy because you have your own shit to do and to deal with. So shout out to all the people who are somebody else's people. And also shout out to the people who depend on other people because that's also not easy. So I'm buying around for people is what I'm trying to say. Around for. Oh my god, that was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not like that at all. It's okay. Listen, your round is your round. You do what you need to do. I'm gonna buy around for Beyonce.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like sometimes I feel like people be forgetting that like you could just go to Beyonce.com and she like got I mad photos and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's it. That's my whole round. <laughs> no, this like, is important though. Alright, alright. It's important. So let's say for some reason you're not already regularly checking Beyonce.com. Let's say, let's say, let's let's imagine. Um, So Beyonce used to have a Tumblr where she like put uh, like a mix of like her her influences and like just like looks of the day or like here's what I wore, blah blah blah. So she's basically transformed her website into that. She's no longer on Tumblr, unfortunately. She has a secret Tumblr, I know. Just like she has a secret Snapchat account. (laughs) <laughs> exactly. exactly. Like only we Quincy all know. Jones we knows all about know. It. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Beyonce.com is like okay. Anytime, literally, anytime Beyonce makes a public appearance, she will have documented every single part of that look, of the journey to that look, of that weird elevator thing we were in before we approached that Where look. Where is that elevator? Right? Is she's that in like, her building? Because she's just always chilling. She's always in some weird industrial elevator. <laughs> it's wild. But. Literally, I'm just describing Beyonce's website to y'all. <laughs> I hope that is clear. <laughs> like, that's it. <laughs> I, I find this helpful because I am not someone who goes to Beyonce.com because I trust Twitter to give me all of my important I hear Beyonce you. Ones. I hear you. Sometimes she'll post, like, the outtakes of the Blue Ivy photo she put on Instagram. Mm. But, like, you didn't see the four photos behind that photo. You know what I'm saying? There are multiple photos. Can I make a confession? Oh, no. Never mind, I ain't got to. (laughs) I'm listening. 
So one of the reasons that I don't keep up with Beyonce's life is because it makes me look at my life and all of the things I do not have, and it's hard. I think like, I oh my God, you're beautiful with the perfect family in Paris again. I get it. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I would suggest that it is a welcome addition to your day because you will never. That's it. Because you will never. No, 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 not you, Tracy. None of y'all will ever. None of us will ever have a beautiful family in Paris. <laughs> you know what, though? This makes me feel less alone. Yes. So thank you for this. You're welcome, everyone. Beyonce.com, have you heard of it? Beyonce.com. Have, have you heard the good news about Beyonce.com? <laughs> have you heard the good word? Beyonce.com. It's great. Oh, shit. Highly recommend it. Um, I think it's time for credits, y'all. Uh, hey. 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 Tracy, we made it. Hey. I just licked the microphone. I didn't mean to. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> Literally me every day. Every day. I apologize for nothing. Okay, we're getting in trouble. Okay, shout out to the pod squad, brum, 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 et cetera. <laughs> this live show... <laughs> was produced by Julia Ferland. Julia, where you at? Hey! Julia! I think she's there. I can't know. She's back there with two arms. Uh, and Nina Ponta with editorial oversight from Eleanor Kagan. Where are you? I don't know. That's our mom. And Meg Kramer, who I don't know if she's here, but shout out to Meg Kramer. With production support from the adorable Megan Dietrich. Where are you? Hey. Someplace. She's yeah. probably backstage somewhere over she's there. She's someplace. Like, and also Tyler Sorensen, when you hear bah, the bah, bah. where I'm hanging out in the studio with a little white boy, that's a little white boy. He's so adorable. Uh, thank you to our Facebook Live team, Yo. Danny Menendez, Taylor Cohen, and Deb Bose. I hope I'm saying that right. And thank you, y'all. <laughs> y'all so beautiful. We can't even. I just think. Literally, if y'all hadn't showed up, it would be us on stage talking to each other, which would have been really fucking weird. <laughs> So thank you for making this less weird. Y'all are the reason why we do this. We love y'all so much. I believe that is the end of the show, Tracy. I, be I believe it is as well. Thank you so much.